And I remember back on it, back at the time, I was at, I actually learned one mob on my cell phone, right? And I thought the value of it was just like able to snap quick videos from a personalization perspective, and even it just able to capture moments and then pass that along for a prospecting tool, right? So um, I've always, even it, 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 over at least at my time here now and just going forward anywhere, wherever my career may take me, I think video truly has a value because um, we don't get to travel as much, right? We live in economic uncertainty where traveling costs more and obviously nothing beat being in the same room. But I think video is a very big differentiator in a very competitive game of sales, right? Where um, we're in a UCAS space that's filled with a lot of similar competitors and people are getting hit up all the time. So any way that I can do to put a stamp on Jeremy's brand being different and um, exposing myself as somebody that's like doing the research and putting a face to the name and like, Putting a stamp is like, hey, I'm reaching out to you for X reason, but I'm also willing to put my actual face versus just some sort of emoji or you know icon on an email. I think says a lot, um, and it's just you know because it's it's truly a different game. You know, people really require personalization. They don't like you know blasting. You've got to really take your time and understand a customer's needs versus just trying to get meetings. I think today, right, um, too many folks, um, they, they go through the motions, right? They're, you know, they're given a book, they're given a number, and, you know, they just, they have certain KPIs they want to hit, right? Um, so they just, you know, hit send a lot of times. They put, you know, all these con similar contacts into a box, and they're not taking the time to understand the business. Um, some of the meetings that I've set through video, right? really took the time of where I'm ordering a customer's product from their website or just something personal from their store and wearing their t-shirt or and finding a you know manufacturing plant in the middle of Oklahoma. Something that's really just alerts or triggers something that's like, wow, that's part of my day-to-day. -day. Like I spent, you know, I don't do this for everybody because you know a speed is also a part of this job. But when you're going after somebody specific, um, uniqueness is required. Um, and it sometimes takes two or three times, but the more times you're actually willing to expose yourself as a human, the more times are people are willing to meet you in the middle and at least give you an at bat. Um, and, and video is definitely a, uh, why that's, it's just truly why I leverage that. And I've realized that it's just, it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's broken down a lot of doors for me. And it also breaks down a lot of barriers before an initial conversation says it shows it like, Hey, this isn't some like virtual bot or BDR that's reaching out. This is an actual human and I'm invested in, Hey, you've had X, Y, and Z challenges, maybe through some conversations I had over the phone, I'm relaying that so that we can solve these, um, you know, issues together. Back, um, this was actually March of 2021, right? But I always remember this one because I really took the time. This guy is a heavy Mississippi State grad, and he had it. I mean, I searched on his Facebook. Um, I don't always do that, but then they had LinkedIn interest. He's still following all these alumni groups, so heavily invested in Mississippi State, right? So, and they've got you know a couple bank locations in um, that main town, and then also down in Oxford, where almost just all across the state, right? So, just very invested in the culture of Mississippi, right? So. I took the time, developed like a really customized video, found some other likes, seemed to like Porsches, I think, too. And <clears throat> I'll read you his response. Have to admit, this is the most personalized recorded message I've ever received. I look forward to potentially evaluating Zoom in the new year. We have X amount of time with a competitor, which was fine. I didn't get it. It was a delayed gratification. But it, the fact that he said this is the most personal, I mean, it, those are the little wins that you kind of stack, right, to build towards the big shebang in the long term, right? So I'm able to kind of use that little bit of momentum to just drop him, you know, hey, because he, he closes the message, hey, keep me posted on what's coming out. He ended up attending Zoomtopia, and then that deal closed last year, right? So, or over time, right? So it was, uh, it, it started small, but, you know, this, this guy, and obviously he's a CIO, he gets tons of crap in his inbox. And the fact that, you know, I, I had a catchy headline and there was a human behind the screen, you know, um, it, uh, I, I, that, it's just funny. I, that's the one I instantly remember because it's just, I don't always get those, but I get those more than you'd be, than you'd think, right? Where it's just like, 
when people are actually take a second to where it's just like, all right, this guy's not trying to be like a, you know, used car salesman. He's just trying to really peak interest into my own personal world, but also maybe some trials and tribulations that my business is going through and has potential outcomes or uh, solving techniques for me. Great. Don't be afraid to humanize yourself. Cause I think a lot of times like people still they're you know, I, we're in a culture of video all day, every day, but I still meet with so many people and I talk to some sales reps that are friends of mine that use zoom, but they're not on video all the time. Right. And people, you really got to be comfortable to seeing yourself in the mirror. Right. You know, like you wake up every day, you know, one of the things is, is this is not even like a sales thing is it's like, do you love what you see? Right. And I think that's, you know, the more often than not that like you're working on your personal self and being able to like what you bring to the table every day, the more comfortable you're going to be able to be in your day to day job. And, you know, ha it showcases in your confidence and your research and your creativity, the more that, you know, the what's between the ears is in a good place. Right. So and that's it's going to be different for everybody. But I think it's it's the world is changing, right? I mean, the phone is still the number one sales weapon. Don't get me wrong. I can talk to someone faster. I've got a chance to get connect with someone in five seconds if I get their mobile phone. Great. But a lot of people still like you've got to rely on a second, you know, weapon in your arsenal and video can truly be that you just got to get comfortable with it. Right. And I'm also I'm also a one take guy. I'm not somebody that like writes out big scripts. You know, I do have a couple bullets on like a note, like a. I know like on the in the background, but if I mess up or something, I, I truly like, unless it's horrible, I don't restart because that's another way of exposing yourself as a human versus like, I'm just reading down some script that like kind of seems like, oh, I'm going from manufacturing company to manufacturing company saying the same darn thing, just changing the name versus truly doing my homework, right? So it's 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 uh like it's scary right people like to, you know, sometimes they don't like to be the leader not everyone's an alpha right but you know the more reps just like in anything that you do phone calls shooting a hockey puck playing basketball whatever it may be the more you do it naturally most over time get better at it so familiarize yourself humanizing yourself will uh, lead to more individual and team wins uh down the road you got to go into with if you're going to use video you got to go into it with a plan Right. And every plan can be different, but make sure you do. You're not just blindly trying something and then just like worrying about if it's going to work or not. You got to have some conviction behind it. And then, you know, you know, once you start to A, B test things, you'll see what works for you. And then, you know, you start to add it to your repertoire um, as a as a regular thing. All my C level intros now, um, outside of if I can if I can leave, I always try and one, I'll call their executive assistant because the most almost have gatekeepers. That's just how it is. If I can sneak a mobile phone, great. Um, and then I always typically will send like an EA, like a, a thank you. Like if I talk to somebody, just like a hey, Pam, hey, John, whatever it may be. Thanks for taking my call. I'm Jeremy from Zoom. Here's a little bit of follow up of what we talked about. Would love to stay on X, Y, and Z's radar for these reasons. Right. So then I've taken the time out of my day to one, this person controls this important. Well, they're both important, right? The, they're, you've got the, you've got the, uh, the driver and then you've got the finisher, right? The, the executive that we all want to get to, but the people that, you know, the carts or the, the horse that's driving the car, which the EAs are, are tough to crack. So I always kind of have a very nice follow up process there. Well, then I get to them first. I'll go to the C levels do some sort of video intro, try and make it personal, quick, short and sweet, promise, you know, not promise, but give a follow-up and say around a specific time and then follow up at that specific time. I've had a few people recently just saying like kudos because like, hey, I watched your video or hey, I heard your voicemail. You said you were going to follow up after this date or like you knew we had something internally going on, a specific project and you said you'd check in at this time. People respect, you know, when you're, people respect like follow up and they start to remember your name, right? Because in inboxes are inundated with 10 Jeremy's, 50 John's, 10 David's, whatever it may be. So I got to find a way to stick out and, you know, ethics and seeing, seeing my face behind a screen are just great ways to do so. Um, so those are just the kind of different ways I've kind of tweaked like the intro process while I'm kind of going below the lines and maybe build some groundswell or find some champions for our solutions. Well, I guess one cool thing that I did, like this was probably back in the summer. Um, 
I, I have a customer local to where I'm at in Denver, and I went downtown to their office building and just like shot a video outside, kind of creepy, but like shot a video outside their office, just a little bit further where I spent some of my own time, probably drove a little bit ways from my house and shot a video and sent it to him. And he was like, pretty cool. And hey, we're not looking at this right now. Give a follow up in three to six months. You're gonna actually need to talk to this person. Kudos on the effort, right? So just a little bit things of way I can, again, we speak differentiation, uniqueness, um, you know, a little effort goes, uh, goes a long way.